Hi everyone, my name is Lena and welcome to my Yakutian sister channel. Today I'd like to tell you a little about China, about the country in which I lived in for seven and a half years before the pandemic. Uh, to be precise, I studied in Harbin. By the way, I posted about a trip in Harbin. So if you like, you can watch this video here. And now I have been living in China at least six months with my family and so I compiled a list of five things that will surprise foreigners in China. In China it's customary to drink a lot of hot water. If you ask for water in the Chinese restaurant, the waiter most likely will bring you a glass or a kettle of boiling water and this shouldn't be surprising because hot water occupies an important place in in China and here are a few reasons firstly uh, Chinese traditional medicine believes that hot water uh, is good for health and second if you drink hot water, uh, you will stay young and cheerful longer. For example, if you are ill in China, your Chinese friends and doctors can advise you to rush away, which means drink lots of hot water. If you are white Europeans and in China, you automatically become the object, object of attention. It's uh, unusual for locals to see a person of another race and uh, they can take pictures with you or just take pictures secretly with their phone or say Vigoren which means foreigner and uh, yeah, 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 it's interesting. Yeah, and uh, I'm not included in this number. And I want to sit here. Yes, I'm. I'm not included in, in this number since I'm Asian. Yes, and I think that is a like a separate topic for the next video. Have to be an Asian in Asian countries. Yes, and um, uh, because I have uh, a white Australian husband, yes, uh, every time when we walk together, people look at him first and then look at me and stare for a long time. And in such a situation, uh, I constantly feel awkward. China is definitely a fast-growing country. For many years of living in China, I can say that I saw and felt this rapidly developing pace with my own eyes. Everything happens very quickly here, that is for example, issues can be solved faster at work, tasks should be completed as quickly. There is a highly competitive environment here. China is considered one of the most populous countries, so if you don't have time to do it, then there will be other specialists who will do it faster and better. Everything here is also focused on development, especially in big cities. For example, these are new technologies, new types of service, new ways to solve any task. You can feel a constant sense of novelty here. And if you are the kind of person who likes to live in a crazy rhythm of development, then I think China suits you. If you have ever searched for photos from China taking major cities, you may notice that the background will be obscured by smoke. Why is this happening? And here are a few reasons. Firstly, there are emissions from industrial production. As you know, a large percentage of production in the world takes place in China. The second is the use of coal instead of gas as an energy source. As it turns out, coal is used in more than 60% of cases. And the third reason is cars that run on diesel fuel. 
Therefore, when you are going to go outside, it's worth going out in a mask, because if you constantly breathe the smoke, it can lead to very bad health consequences. In Chinese society, the primary role is given to the family and the relationship between close relatives. Here, parents are responsible for the happiness of an adult child. And if for some reason, if your partner's parents don't like you, uh, for example, you don't have a good enough job or you're not beautiful enough by a local standard, then most likely you will break up because it's not constantly to contradict parents here. Uh, that is, the younger generation listens older generation. In China, parents play a huge role in starting a family for their children and even in finding a partner. Therefore, such parents can go to the marriage market and find a husband or wife for their child. Such markets usually work on weekends in the park of the city center. Except for parents and relatives who want to help find a life partner for their child, agent of marriage agencies or just people who, due to employment at work or simply because of indecision, cannot find a second half. And that is for such cases there is a marriage market. People come here with a questionnaire where there is information about age, job position, education, whether there is an apartment, what they do and so on. And through these questionnaires, if the interests of two sides coincide with each other, people can find a life partner. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope you were interested in listening about China. Please don't forget to support this video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.